Good morning. Hi. It's early and I turned 30 yesterday, so I'm dealing with that, which is a little bit exciting. But um, <laughs> um, I wanted to talk. Yay, yay. Thank you very much, yes. Um, I wanted to talk to um, the room this morning um, about what turns me on, obviously, but my choice was the unknown. I suppose I live uh, a freelance lifestyle for probably about the last two years of my life and um, it's been amazing to hear everyone who's spoken this morning because I relate so significantly to, to something that everyone has spoken about um, this morning, especially um, Elizabeth and, and Robert talking about uh, the fear, you know, this incredible fear of the unknown that a lot of people do relate to. Um, I, I might be um, talking, you know, preaching to the converted this morning already, um, being like-minded people in the room. But um, I, I suppose it started when uh, I realised how bad I was at uh, my job that I was working in, that I'd been in for about a year before I, I really sort of admitted to myself that I was a terrible PA um, and, and it wasn't really my sort of thing. So um, I decided to start looking for another job, but I was working in that job for a year before I, I handed in my my resignation and, and my boss looked at me and he said, oh, it's finally happening, you're resigning, you know, what, what, what are you going off to do? And I said, well, I've been, um, I've been given an opportunity to be a runner on a TV production show called Making Australia Happy, ironically. So that was, that was the, first, the first job, the first freelance position that I had um, outside of full-time work. And um, Steve looked at me and he said, so it's, it's only a nine-week position, what are you doing after that? And I just, I just threw my hands up at him and I said, I don't know, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. And, and I'm really excited to figure it out. I'm finally being put into, putting myself and allowing myself to go into a position where I'll be challenging myself and, and getting out there and, and really, you know, pushing myself and, and trying to figure out exactly uh, what I'm going to do. And, you know, in, in my bio it says I do do a lot of things, um, but that's because I've given myself the opportunity to try lots of different areas to, to really figure out what it is I have wanted to do. And it's it's been difficult, um, it's been thrilling, it's been terrifying, but um, it's led me to uh, be able to do exactly what I want to do today, which is um, fully produce um, my own show as a, as a performer. Um, I was taking a lot of freelance positions in the film and television uh, industry until I, I had this niggling, I kept on having this feeling of like, this still isn't right, this still is not what you want to do. You've always wanted to work in music, you've always wanted to work uh, as a performer. So do it, you know, save up the money, work the jobs, work for six months, save up the money, and then, you know, really put your time and energy into, into doing exactly what you want to do. And so I have done that. And it has been an incredible run ever since. And um, I didn't grow up in a household uh, where the word manifest was, was ever used. And I probably only discovered what, what the word manifest really truly meant to me as a person in the last six months of my life. And it's awesome, you know, it's amazing to really see exactly what unfolds for you as a person when you really do listen to that inner voice and, and sacrifice and uh, self-fund to allow, to allow yourself to really get to that point where you just go, yes, this, this is exactly what, what turns me on, you know, that unknown. And uh, that fear is what you have to use and grasp because every single person is is able to really get to that point where you enjoy exactly what you do. And um, it wasn't natural for me because I didn't, uh, you know, I always had a very structured upbringing and, you know, went to, went to great schools and, and uh, always you, you, you sort of believe that uh, you, know, you have a vision of where you think your life's going to be, you know, that the security of a full-time job and knowing where your next paycheck is going to come from every month and, and all of those sorts of things that um, I was just speaking to Christopher before um, this morning, we were just having some breakfast and um, he asked me what I was speaking about today and I said, well, the unknown. And he said, it's funny because the, the unknown 
is fearful for most people. And I said, yeah, when, whenever I'm having a conversation with someone, um, you know, normally of my, of my parents' generation, really, they ask me what I'm doing and which job I'm in. And I say, well, I'm not working at the moment. And you kind of just, you, you see this look on their face as if to say, well, you know, how are you going to pay the bills? Where's, where's your next paycheck coming from? And I, I actually quite relish in saying, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Because it makes them, it terrifies them. But, but you know, it's, <laughs> I love doing that. It totally freaks them out. But um, knowing that, knowing that uh, you're going to be okay, I think, is, is very important as well. Because you are always going to be okay as, um, you know, as an individual. And it spurs you to really grow um, that belief in yourself. You know, you really, you, you, you become more secure, you, you become more aware of what you can do when you don't settle and you don't, you don't necessarily, um, what time am I at? Oh, I'm wrapping up. Oh, two minutes to go. Well, anyway, thank you for, thank you for listening and, and have a really great day. It's Friday, so have a good one. Thank you.